Hey guys, it's King Todd, and this is part 16 of Breath of the Wild 3. What we're going to be doing now is pass through Mount Zablo, and uh, see how far we can get. We might want to try to avoid those steam. Well, I would call them geysers, I believe. Now let's get rid of these guys quick. Niceness. 72. So this is a good place to train if you want to come back here and train anytime. I mean, if you get 72 experience, you might as well go ahead and uh, yeah, just go ahead and do it. Uh, I'm going to pass through. Actually, I'm going to see if I can. No, I'm going to get hit. Four, just by him. So take this chance and uh, pretty much go level up with him. Do a quick heal on him. Take that 820. Okay, there's uh, something you can do, just use any fire attack, and uh, he will awaken, meaning you'll get a lot more experience. So go ahead and do this. But uh, I suggest you have at least, let's see if his bow can begin to move. That would just be a lot more experience when you actually defeat him. I should just use an ice property. Yeah. Oh, that's a miss. Hey. Lava burst. You can try learning the skill from him just for a hell of it. I never really used it too much when I did learn it. But uh, the more skills you learn, uh, you don't have to worry about it later on. There we go. We just got 300 experience. Holy crap! So yeah, this is a definite uh, level up. If you wanted to go ahead and do this, do this as much as you want. And uh, I need to do this with Gar, really. But if you want more points, because uh, that's at least 900 experience points each, if your character both of them dies, and only whatever one you want to keep. But uh, if you want to level up Gar, this is the best way to go. All right, so this armor. That you just got you will actually absorb heat, resist flames. So you don't have to worry about flames for your main character. Except you have to still watch out for the lava. Ah, oh, another Vulcan. So what's you, Sea Moon? And, uh,. Huh. I guess I'm gonna go with double blow. Nothing here in this is. Why is it in? Oh yes, now it's pretty small. Yeah. 
We heard it again. So it looks like uh, two, or, two or three of those love up meeting up. Best way to love up. Alright, let's see which way we should go. This is dead end. Probably where we have to go. Alright guys, what I'm thinking we'll be doing is uh, going out and get Gar, and uh, he's like level 14. Come back here and find, make sure he's like the last one surviving whenever I'm about to defeat uh, Vulcan, and he will get at least 900 X XP. And that will help him level up, or you can just do it individually, but most likely I'm going to do what I just said. So, uh, I'll see you guys in a couple seconds and let you know what I got Gar to. And I'll be back to the same setup as it is now. Alright, see you guys in a couple seconds. Alright guys, I am back, and uh, pretty much I went out searching for the Vulcans, like I said, with the Gar, and uh, pretty much encountered at least 11 or 12. Gar is almost level uh, 21 now. I recommend getting him at least 21. But I'm going to finish it off later, and I won't spend too much time. And uh, it was quite easy to level up. What you want to do is make sure... You uh, Ryu and Nina, which I had in the party at the time, is uh, at 1 HP all the time. So they would be the ones that be dead each match, and Gar is the last one standing. That way, uh, Gar will get 900 experience. You can do this with any character you want to level up, but uh, it was the easiest way to <coughs> get a lot of experience. We should go down this way. Before we go through there, <coughs> you want to go down here? No getting that. I believe that's confused. Here's another one. I'm gonna take advantage of this. I like how they put an ass cheek on the broken. If you were doing it my way, or not the, my way, but the way it was just done just then, uh, you'd be at least twice, well, three times the amount of uh, battles to level up Gar. This is something you want. I believe that's supposed to absorb the flames. Alright, I want to go up one time, one more, because uh, I think I missed something. It's been a while since I've been here, so uh, uh, it looks like I have to go through the lava. Ah, uh, crap. So I guess uh, we will be going through the lava.
Thank you, Nina. Thank you, Logan. And, uh, that was pointless. I knew there was nothing there. Alright, let's get rid of all this. You know, I just remembered, uh, the tall man, uh, in Japanese, they use the, the kanji for, uh, L, is use the R. I don't know if that has an effect in this game, but, uh, think about it, why would they name tall man, uh, tall man, when it should be tar man? I don't know. I might got it backwards, but uh, that's pretty much what I remember. It might be just an English translation error. What am I doing? What am I doing with Moon? Let's heal him then. What else do I want to do? Alright, we will be going down and getting those treasure chests and stuff like that. So first let's go over here and uh, grab this chest. Some fruit. We're not going that direction, we're gonna go over here. And we're gonna grab those items. Treasure chest and the gin. Which one should we grab first? I think we're going after the gen. Brood sealed in the uh, crimson. Miracle gen. This is something we're going to be using. And uh, later on. Flame talons. That is for Pico. Pico Pico. I don't want to see his name. And then go buy more healing herbs.
So yeah, it's almost level up. Two more of those. And any other regular matches. And uh we level it up pretty much. Thank you for the healing. See, it's quite easy to level up within five minutes. I mean, yeah, about ten minutes within here, running around. And I'm not even trying to encounter them on purpose. Alright, let's see. Alright, guys, I be right back. Alright, guys, I am back. Sorry about that. And uh, we're going to continue on. So, like I said before, I recommend Gar getting to level 21 or 22. I can't remember, but whatever level it is, he will learn to move card Kari. And what that's supposed to do is uh, pretty much instantly kill all undead, or at least do damage to them. Alright, so Gaetan, Charb, and Scala. Okay, if I said that correctly. So what we're gonna do is use our new properties, Ice, uh, Miracle, and Thorn. And that's what we're gonna do. Then we're gonna increase our uh, Might. Hundred and thirty, like that. Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna use Frost Ball on the first one, Scala. Skyla, whatever you wanna say. Get hand. And charge.
That was easy. Now we're gonna attack him. Cause I knew he only had like a thousand health, I believe. So it's quite easy to know when you're gonna die. Especially when the uh, Jason's keep on using vitalize. Wait, that's the name? No, Charb. I'm sorry, Charb. Now Charib. Okay, yeah, I'm not going to, I'm not really sure how you're gonna pronounce these names. Okay, these are really screwed up names. So I got one more strike. What? No! Now that was pathetic. So I guess that is Giz Hand. The only one that's uh, left. I know you can probably learn that as a skill if you keep on. Uh, Examining him takes some time, but you should be able to actually learn that. There we go, finally. 500. That's quite easy, let's get out of here now. So like I said, you can always come back here and uh, train. Really good with those uh, bokens. So uh, what I'm gonna do is end it here. And uh, we'll see you guys later. Well, actually, before I do that, I want to do a quick rest and uh, save. Might as well do that in the video. Alright, so I hope to see you guys in the next part. Bye!